Okay, so let's have this topic, solving rational inequalities. So first, we need to check the given if the right side is equal to 0. Since on the given, the right side is not equal to 0, so we need to transpose this positive 2 to the left side. So this becomes x plus 1 over x plus 3 minus 2, then less than or equal to 0. Then simplify, so using cross multiplication, that's over 1. So we have this x plus 1 times 1, that's x plus 1. Then minus this 2 times x plus 3. So 2 times x plus 3. Then over this x plus 3 times 1, or x plus 3. Then less than or equal to 0. Then simplify, so we have x plus 1. Then this negative 2 times x, that's negative 2x. And negative 2 times 3, that's negative 6. Then over x plus 3, then less than or equal to 0. Then we can simplify this one, positive x minus 2x or 1 minus 2. That's negative x or negative 1x. Then positive 1 minus 6. That's negative 5. Then over x plus 3. Then less than or equal to 0. So since the right side is equal to 0, so we can equate now the numerator and denominator to 0 to solve for the critical values. So for the numerator, we have this negative x minus 5. So negative x minus 5 equals 0. And to solve for the critical value, so that's negative x equals, transpose this negative 5, that becomes positive 5. Then divide both sides by negative 1. So x equals negative 5. So this one is the first critical value. Then for the denominator, so that's x plus 3 equals 0. And to solve for the critical value, so transpose this a positive 3, that becomes negative 3. So this one is the second critical value. So these are the two critical values. Then place these critical values in a number line. So this one is 0, so we have this negative 3, so negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. So this one, the first critical value, and the other one, x equals negative 5. So negative 4 and negative 5. So these are the two critical values. So we have this positive infinity and negative infinity. Then find the test points. So to find the test points, so these are the numbers before so before the first critical value, so before negative 5, we have this number that's negative 6. Then between, so between these two critical values, so this number, negative 4. And after, so after the last critical value, so this number, that's negative 2. Then place these numbers in a sign analysis table. So we have this sign analysis table. This one is x. And possible values for x, we have this negative 6, negative 5, a negative 4, negative 3, and negative 2. Then for the equation, start with the numerator. So we have this negative x minus 5, so negative x minus 5. And for the denominator, that's x plus 3. And this one is the result. And then start solving for the critical values. Since these are the critical values, the negative 5 and 
negative 3. So if x equals negative 5, so this equation becomes 0 because negative, negative, that's positive 5, and positive 5 minus 5, this one is 0. So if the numerator is equal to 0, then that equation becomes 0. Then for this critical value, x equals negative 3. So if x equals negative 3, so this equation becomes 0. So negative 3 plus 3, this one is 0. So if the denominator is equal to 0, then that equation becomes error or undefined. So this one is error. Then for the test points, so let's start with x equals negative 6. So if x equals negative 6, so negative, negative, that's positive 6. And positive 6 minus 5, that's positive 1. So just write the sign only. So this one is positive. Then for this equation, so if x equals negative 6, so negative 6 plus 3, this one is negative 3. Then positive divide by negative. So when dividing different sign or unlike sign, the answer is negative. Then for this number, so if x equals negative 4. So we have the negative, negative 4, that's positive 4. And positive 4 minus 5, that's negative 1. Then this uh, equation, so negative 4 plus 3, that's negative 1. And negative divide by negative, so when dividing the same sign, the answer is positive. Then for this equation, so if x equals negative 2, so negative, negative 2, that's positive 2. And positive 2 minus 5, that's negative 3. Then for this equation, so negative 2 plus 3, this one is positive 1. And dividing unlike signs, so negative divide by positive, the answer is negative. Then since in the given, we have this less than or equal to 0, since all negative numbers are less than or equal to 0, so therefore in the sign analysis table, just look for the negative result. Since we have this negative, that's on the left of negative 5, so therefore in a number line, we have this to the left of negative 5 and also this negative to the right of this negative 3. So in a number line, so to the right of this negative 3. But since the condition, we have this equal to 0 and this negative 5 is equal to 0 so therefore this negative 5 is part of the solution so this parenthesis becomes square bracket so this parenthesis becomes square bracket so these are now the solution in interval notation so from this negative infinity to this negative 5, then square bracket, because negative 5 is part of the solution, then union, this negative 3, to positive infinity. So this is the solution of this rational inequality.